Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 makeup picks for spring. So if you are interested in seeing the products that I picked out, then just keep watching. <laughs> I'm so excited for today's video because it's in collaboration with my friend here on YouTube, Erin. Her channel is called Erin Nicole TV. I will be sure to link her channel down below. So we both decided that we are going to pick our top 10 makeup products for spring for this collaboration. I have collaborated with Erin in the past and it was such a good time that we wanted to do it again. If you aren't familiar with her channel, she is a high-end luxury beauty channel. And what I really like about her channel is that she does a lot of luxury brands brands that I do not cover. She covers fragrance and fashion as well. She is just so elegant and poised and I think her channel just brings a very happy energy that I love to watch. You know, if you are into luxury products, you're going to love her channel. She knows her stuff when it comes to luxury products. She has great taste and if you like sparkly, glitter, pink, anything like that, you're going to love her channel. So I will be putting her channel down below for you guys to check out. Make sure you subscribe and comment on her video that I sent you. But I love Erin. She's so sweet and I love her channel so much. I watch all of her videos. So I want to send you guys her way because you will not regret it. I don't know what she picked out, but these are the products that I picked out. Her and I have similar but different tastes in products. She definitely is a lot more into like YSL, Chanel, Dior. I have pieces from those brands, but she really is an expert in that area. So she definitely is knowledgeable in areas that I am not. <laughs> Let's go over the products that I personally picked out. So my idea of spring makeup makeup is like a light fresh pink pastel kind of face so I love lighter brighter colors for the spring now of course I don't always stick to such a color palette but it is really fun to play in those types of colors in the spring and bring out the spring mood especially now in this <laughs> time that we are living in. So I picked a lot of fun spring products that I know I'm excited to wear for this upcoming season. So first I want to talk about a foundation and I am going to absolutely love this foundation for spring. This is the Bite Beauty Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. Now what I love about this foundation is it is so skin-like. It's not like a tinted moisturizer. It has more coverage, but really it looks like skin when you put it on your face. It gives you a medium coverage. It can be built up a little bit, but I just love this for spring because it is so natural and it really goes well with a fresh faced kind of makeup look because you can see your skin underneath. It feels extremely lightweight. It's moisturizing for the summer months and I just really like it. I can't even feel it on my face. It's what I'm wearing today and it just really perfects your skin while still having your skin show through. So I think that this is the perfect foundation for spring as it's getting warmer. You have a very lightweight foundation on your skin. It looks like skin and it's going to pair very well with the other products that you choose for spring. So this for sure is my choice in foundation. For me, my ideal spring look is all about bright pink cheeks. So I do have quite a few cheek products to share with you guys because for me in the spring, I'm all about bright, rosy, pink cheeks. So the first product that I chose, I'm going to be using this and abusing it all spring, and this is the Natasha Denona Bloom Palette. This came out last spring, and that says a lot that I am still going to bring it out this spring. Now in here, you're getting a glow cream product, a cream blush, a duo glow highlighter, and a glow extreme highlighter. Now I have featured this on my channel a ton of times, so I didn't demo it for you today, but truly this is how you can get the bright peachy glow to your cheek all spring. Of course, you can go natural with it as well. The product that stands out to me here that I truly love is the cream blush. Now, it does look very scary, but when you put it on your cheeks, it just gives you a very bright, youthful looking cheek, and you can layer all of these different highlighty type of colors to really give an extra glow. So overall, when I think of a nice spring cheek, this is what I think of, and this really brings the look that I'm going for. So I still, to this day, I'm still recommending the Natasha. Denona Bloom palette. Let's cover the blush that I'm wearing today. This is a newer formula and this is from MAC and you guys have probably heard a lot about these but these are the Glow Play blushes and I love these. These will probably be in my favorites this month. Now I only own two colors. The color that I am recommending to you for spring specifically is No Shame and it looks very scary.
scary. But if you want it to be lighter, I would suggest using a brush. That is what I have on my cheeks today to give me this very natural pink flush. It is a gorgeous blush. It can be built up if you want something a little bit more deep like this color. I like using a sponge. I find that gives me a little bit more coverage. Or even a finger. These are a very unique formula. They're kind of like putty. You can press into it and I really like it a lot. I didn't think I would like a formula like this, but the finish on the skin is beautiful. It gives you such a natural glow. It's not something shiny. It's glowy. So it gives you a very youthful appearance. It makes your cheeks look more plump and smooth in a good way. And there are so many other colors if you aren't into this color. Another color that I recommend, which is the only other color that I have, is Grand. If you're into a little bit more of a pinky peach shade that's more natural, this is also very beautiful. But specifically for the spring, I'm loving No Shame. I think it is so fun. The next two items for the cheeks. These should be of no surprise for you. I've talked about this being my favorite cheek combination and it's just the perfect spring cheek. So we're gonna start off with the blush and this is the Dior Backstage Blush in Rosy Glow. I would have worn it for you today but I've already done so many demos using this blush but it's just a matte bright pink blush. If you don't like pink blush, you're not going to like this. They do have a coral one that's also very pretty, but again, for the spring, it's about pink for me, and I think this is the perfect spring blush color. It doesn't have any shine to it as well, so if you don't like a glowy blush, this is a great way to go. Just because it's not glowy doesn't mean it's not great for spring. This is the perfect spring shade. It's not as obnoxious as it looks in the pan. It's actually quite natural on the cheek, and I've been saying this about this product, but if you love a pink blush, you need to have this in your collection. It is a beautiful shade. And to go with that is my current favorite highlighter, especially for spring. This is also from Dior, and this is from their spring collection, which by the way, their spring collection, all of the items are perfect for spring. The eyeshadow palettes are great spring colors as well, but the highlighter is what stood out the most to me for this collection. So this is the highlighter in Rosy Vibes. They do have another one that I think is more suitable for deeper skin tones, but for me, I'm loving Rosy Vibes a lot. It's the highlighter that I have on today, but these two together are also incredible. This is the most beautiful pink highlighter that I own. I think sometimes I can feel a bit intimidated by pink highlighters because it's too pink, but this is the perfect combination of pink enough to blend in with your blush, but also natural enough to seem like a normal glowy highlighter. So if you're into natural highlights, this is a great way to wear pink with your highlights, especially if you enjoy pink blushes because this brings another element to the blush as well. And Dior has absolutely the best highlighter formula, in my opinion. I just love this blush. It's everything. This is definitely one of my favorite highlighters that I own in my collection. So that should tell you something. I love this highlight so much. So now it's time to move on to the eyes. Now I do plan on doing a whole separate spring eyeshadow palette video for you guys, but I did want to put one in and this is my top pick for the spring. Every time I think of spring, I think of this palette and this is from Viseart. This is the Kui palette. And when I first got this palette, I wasn't too sure about it, but as I've dug into it, I am in love with this palette. I will link down below a video of me using the Koi palette and showing you different ways that you can use it, but you can use these just dry all over your eyelid for a very pretty kind of more pastel pink look. I mean, these are all Easter kind of colors, perfect for spring. But if you want a wash of color, which is something that I'm very into for spring, you can use this palette. Now I didn't use this palette for today's look, but just so you can get an idea of that wash of color, you could use this shade or this shade and you can do any type of wash with these colors. It's truly beautiful. But if you really want to amp this palette up, use it on top of either a white base or a black base or any colored base, to be honest. And this is going going to amplify that base color. So check out my video on this if you're interested in seeing how base colors affect this palette. But this palette is so versatile, but when it comes to spring, I love this palette for just a simple wash of color. And I think this palette really runs under the radar, but it's one of my favorites and it's perfect for spring. So this is definitely one of my top eyeshadow palettes for spring that I recommend you try out. So let's talk about what I'm wearing on my eyelids right now. And I think these are perfect for spring. These are from Kaj. 
Nastasia. And these are the Moon Crystal Sparkling Eye Pigments. And I only have one shade, but definitely feel free to check out all of the other shades. But personally, this shade is also the perfect spring color. I love lilacs. And this is the shade Mystical. And this is what I have all over my lid right now. As you can see, it's a sheerer color, but it gives you that glittery, sparkly spring finish on the eyelid. And I just have a little bit of bronzer underneath in my crease. And then I put this right on top. I love this for spring because of how well it stays put during the warmer weather and how easy and fresh it looks on the eyelid. It's super easy to apply and it gives you a very bright fresh effect on the eyelid and overall these types of products are really beautiful for spring. They have a lot of other great colors that would be perfect for spring. I only own this color and I'm perfectly happy with that because I definitely plan on rocking this simple eye look for spring using this product so I had to put this in here. Next I want to talk about eyeliners. So I am recommending that you go onto Colourpop and look at their gel eyeliner sets. So I have bought, I believe the set is called the Star Crossed Vault. And I purchased that set because it had a lot of unique pencil liners that I didn't have in my collection. I love using fun colored eyeliner in my waterline for spring looks. Right now, I have the Good Reef Bright Pink eyeliner in my waterline and I think that it's so fun for spring if you pop a blue, a purple, a yellow. It's very subtle and it's very fun. Right now the set that I have which is called like the Star Cross Vault, it is sold out but they do have a lot of other vaults or you can just look into buying individual colors that you're interested in. I didn't want to spend too much money for colors that I'm going to put in my waterline but I don't do it very frequently so I think a ColourPop set is the best way to go because they're cheap, they work great and they have some of the best colors that any brand has to offer. So definitely think about playing up with your makeup a little bit this spring and putting fun colored eyeliners in your waterline. It'll really change up your look and it's really pretty. I honestly really like it. So I had to put my ColourPop cream gel eyeliners in this video. So finally, I have two lip products to talk about with you guys. For spring, I love bright lips or shiny lips or anything really just pretty and soft. So I picked one bright color and one soft color. So the first one that we have is from Chantecaille and this is the lipstick in Tulip. Now I've had this for a long time. I love this lipstick for spring and it's almost like a hot pink red shade. So if you want to keep a fresh face with just some mascara and a little bit of this color on the lips, it's beautiful. Now you can actually get a softer bright lip if you just tap it onto the lips and blend it out. Or as I show you in my demo, I did give it full pigmentation. So this is just such a fun color for spring. You can't really tell if it's hot pink or red. And Shansakai is such a a luxe brand so this is a really fun lipstick to have this is a beautiful color and the last color that I chose for spring is the color that I'm wearing right now and this is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is her superstar lips I believe these are called and this is in the shade happy lips it's what I'm wearing right now and I really like this because it's a sheer glossy color I was worried that they weren't selling this anymore but she is thank goodness but I love it because it's so moisturizing on the lips so it looks juicy and this is such a pretty wearable color for spring. I love this formula from Charlotte. I just think it's so wearable and easy to throw on and so extremely comfortable and this is probably going to be my go-to spring color because it's gonna go with so many different looks. So there you have it. Those are my top 10 makeup picks for the spring season. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you pick up some of these products if you are interested in them. To see another set of great spring products, definitely go check out Erin's channel. I am so excited to watch her video to see what she picks because she loves pink and glowiness so I already know I'm going to love her picks. So you guys need to check her out too. So that's all we have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you aren't subscribed to my channel yet, I hope you take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good one.